Someone asked recently about how they could create their own command line tool to do some math on command line. Well, we have some tools that will do that in the free DOS distribution. For example, Jerome Shadell has the V8 power tools. That includes a tool called VMath. VMath will be very basic calculations. It's not meant to be a full calculator, but it's meant to do some simple automation command line. Well, what if you wanted to put your own spin on it? Well, creating your own simple calculator from the command line is not that big of a challenge. And so let's go ahead and write a simple command line program to do some basic math operations. So I'm going to start up a new uh, file here called math. C. now here I'm using the fed editor, the folding editor, and we include that in the free dust distribution. You may call it. And I'm also going to be compiling with the I version of but you can use any C compiler that you like. I'm not doing anything special here. So first I need to do uh, some uh, uh, include statements. I'm going to do an include on standard H and that way I can do printing, uh, you know, out. Uh, let's also, we're going to be working with some double precision values and we need to pull uh, strings from the command line and turn them to double precision. And so for that, we need to have a function called A or A to F, and that is included in the standard lib.h atop function. And so let's uh, start a very simple uh, uh, main program. So I'm going to do int main. Now, normally I would have sort of a, an empty argument list here, but actually here I do want to parse the command line. So I need to do an int argc and a care uh, arg. And so that allows me to parse the command line. And uh, arg c will be the argument count, and that will include uh, argument zero, which is the program itself. And so the way that this uh, command line actually works is we've got our program called math, and I'm going to be able to pull off, uh, let's say, one value, and then an operator, and then a value. So really, I'm only looking for when the arg c four because that'll be B. So if the arg C is four, then I can do some work. And that's going to be, uh, let's just go ahead and, and uh, uh, we need to do a function here called math. Uh, and that will uh, pull off the, let's do the operator as the first argument. And so it'll be uh, arg V, uh, the second uh, the second operator, but I only want to pull off the first character. And so for that, I'm going to do argv2, but then add the zero index to it. That'll give me the first character on two. Uh, then I need to pull off the second argument, and that's argv1, but I want to turn that into a double precision value. So I'm going to use atof to pull that into double precision value. Atof doesn't actually turn it into a float, it turns it into a double precision. And then I'm going to do again for uh, arg v3, but again, I'm going to turn that into atof arg v3 as my argument. And then uh, that's second parenthesis, and that gets me math operation. Well, this will give me the result, which I can actually print right away by using a printf. F, uh, statement, and I'll ask it to do and LF, and that gives me a double precision value, and then I'll just uh, a new line. And so uh, then the response to that will be whatever the final value math function. And that means at the end of my statement here, I need to actually have a closing parenthesis is my matching up with the printf function. And then a semicolon. So I'm doing a lot of work here, actually, in this in this one line. This is maybe a, a little uh, confusing uh, to to kind of look at the first time if you're getting uh, started with programming, but it actually it's a pretty condensed and uh, perfectly legitimate way to write a uh, command line program. And once this uh, runs, we'll just actually do a return zero. And if it's not, uh, then I'll probably print let's say some sort of a statement here, put s that says uh, correct usage. And so say the usage is going to be, uh, the math program and the a and some operator. And then I'll just return back the operating system. Once. 
So let's go ahead and write a function that will do our math. Here at the top, I'm going to make a new function that it returns a double precision value. And it's the function called math. And that's going to take a, uh, a single character operator at the beginning. Because that was argv2, but only the first character from argv2. And then uh, two double precision values. So double a, then double b. And then inside there, we need to just do uh, some sort of a way to kind of determine what kind of operation we're doing. And the easiest way I think to do this is to do a switch. And so we're going to do a switch based on that character, single character of the operator. And uh, inside there, we'll have various uh, case statements. We'll do a case statement for if we're going to be doing an addition, uh, another case statement if we're doing a fraction. And a case statement if we're doing kind of multiplication. And so we'll do star. Actually, I hate doing stars on the command line. Uh, so let's just make it an X. Um, and uh, that's just the old Unix guy in me. And uh, so we'll do an X there for times. And then we'll do a, a case uh, statement uh, for, uh, we'll do division. And so there's my uh, four different cases. And we'll deal with, you know, what if it's not a, uh, a recognized option at the end? Because if it doesn't catch one of those, we'll actually do a return on each one. And so if it escapes the, uh, the switch, if it exits the switch statement, then I won't have, have done a return. And now I know that I can actually put some sort of a uh, statement here that says unrecognized operation. I can uh, return, let's just any kind of value I need to. Unrecognized operations will return the value of zero. All right, so now we need to fill in uh, what's inside these case statements. So if we're going to be doing an addition, then I'm going to just return the value of a plus b. And that's all I need to do, just return a plus b. And then down here, if I'm doing subtraction, well, I'm going to return the value of a minus b. And all these are going to be double precision values. And so uh, can uh, get more complicated in terms of answers. But for example, uh, we'll be able to do fractions and things like that. And so multiplication, well, it's going to be return of A times B. And then down here, division is return of uh, A divided by B. Now we have a, a problem here. What happens if B is zero? Well, that would be a problem. Uh, so we probably should do a check in here that says if uh, B uh, is 0, 0.0, then that's going to be a problem. We should probably just say put S and we'll say uh, hide uh, by zero error. And we need to return. Let's go ahead and just say return. We've already indicated an error. And then um, if it if it doesn't trigger that if statement, then it will go on and do the next thing, which is divide B. Now, again, uh, up here uh, through all of my switch operations, if uh, if it hasn't caught uh, plus, minus, multiply, multiply and divide, uh, then it's going to be down here and it's going to be an unrecognized operation. So we are catching all operations. And then down here in our, in our program, you can see how we're using it. And we're just printing out the value of the function. And so with that, we should be able to go ahead and compile our program. So let's go ahead and save quit. And I'm going to do I16C. And let's save this as a program called math.exe. And we'll do the math.c source file. We'll see if we have any errors in there any errors and so that's good we can run uh, math now i run it without arguments then it's going to give me an error and let me know what the correct usage is there it is correct usage is a some operation and b so for example i can do math of of value of one and then that should be three it is three now it's a double precision value so you can see i'm getting uh the decimal point in there uh and we can do uh, math of let's n minus 12, and that should be minus 2. It is minus 2. 
we can do division in there. So we can do math of we'll do 10,000 uh, times 2, and that should give me 20,000. And then we can do a division here. We'll do a math of 3 divided by 2, which should be a 1 and a half. And because we're using double precision values here, we'll actually be able to capture things decimal point. Now, if I have any other kind of operation that's not recognized, and so uh, we'll say math of, uh, let's just do two numbers here, a one, do like uh, an at sign and three, well, that'll be an unrecognized operation. At sign is not one of the operations that we find, and so I get unrecognized operation zero as a result. So if you need to do a simple program to do some simple math for you, you could write your own program. Now, this is working entirely in uh, double precision values. And so if you wanted to do something that only worked in, for example, integer, you can modify the program. To do. And in fact, if you're a Patreon subscriber, I will do a bonus video on Patreon that shows uh, how you would update this program only. So what'd you think of that video? Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see other types of videos like this. Before I go, I want to thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. Uh, with your support on Patreon, I'm able to take some time off from my consulting work and do these videos and do free us. Some of you are supporting me at a higher level, and I want to thank you here for that. So thank you again, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. That really does help the channel. Visit our website at freedas.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Mastodon, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.